What's up everybody? It's March 5th, 2023 and we're gonna go up to Holcomb Valley today. Hopefully we don't get stuck, but I know, uh, well, we've been getting a lot of requests to do it. Say hi, babe. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so we're gonna go up there and do a little drive in Holcomb Valley. Wish us luck. We'll see you guys soon when we get there. All right, you guys, on our way to Holcomb Valley, we're gonna take a look at the lake. And that's, Holcomb Valley is behind those hills right there, you guys. But check out the lake, it looks so pretty. Hopefully I turn on the right street. Usually it takes me a couple tries. All right, you guys, we're on Highway 38 North Shore. We are coming up to the turn to turn in to go up to Holcomb Valley. I think it's called like Pollock Canyon Road. Yep, here it is. Pollock Canyon Road. I'm pretty sure this is it. Should curve to the left up here. Yep, it does. And then it and it turns into a dirt road real quickly here. Valley, six miles, the sign. So six miles to Holcomb, you guys. Already off to a bad start with these. Rough. Yeah, this is gonna be very rough. <laughs> and because of the warmth out here, I'm worried about getting stuck in just a small amount of snow. Or even mud. Yeah. Yeah, I said yeah. Definitely mud for sure. It'll, it could be really bad. So we'll see you guys. Hopefully we can at least make it to, to the valley and uh, take our dogs, let our dogs go to the bathroom up there. So we're on the opposite side of the lake as uh, Snow Summit and Bear Mountain and all that good stuff. Those mountains you see over there, that's where we are. That's where we live, over there. I don't know if you can really see it too well. But we also filled up the gas tank before we came up here, just to be safe in case we do get stuck. In the next few days, it's supposed to be nice and warm, so that's gonna be good. And just from looking from here, the, the lake definitely looks, you can see the difference. In the side mirror, you can kind of see the lake. You can see San Gorgonio back there. It's really nice. Yeah, usually this part of the road's a lot smoother until you get back in here a bit. We just got to be careful. I don't want to get any flat tires back here or anything. This side of the mountain range, they don't get as much snow over here on this side. But with that huge storm we got, yeah, they still got hammered for sure. So we're going to be climbing, I think, a couple hundred more feet at the most to get to where we need to go. Beautiful views. This might not be good. We'll see. Because there are going to be a lot of spots up here that don't get a lot of direct sunlight, so it's going to be pretty rough. But we have the vehicle for it. We definitely do. We're just going to have to take our sweet time. Go over the edge here. That wouldn't be fun. It's really pretty back here, though, you guys. It really is, right, babe? So for those of you who don't know, this area used to be the main part, like this is where the whole population of the town was, way up here during the gold rush era up here. Holcomb Valley was where everyone lived. 
kind of interesting. It'd be nice if they actually built a nice road coming up here. And I know we want to keep some areas kind of, you know, just untouched, but it'd be nice to have a couple resorts up here. I think that'd be great. Some really exclusive type of resorts back here. Because the valley up here is so beautiful. It just looks like you fell into heaven. It's just green and it's really nice. Yeah, this snow is so slushy, we're just getting pushed all over the place. And we don't want to get pushed close to the edge here, even though it's going to right now a little bit, but we'll be okay. All right. Here's a car up here. I always suggest when you come into these areas, come prepared with like self-defense stuff, just in case. I didn't, unfortunately. Yeah, and here in Big Bear, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of it, but there's this thing called Yellow Posts, where it's literally free camping, but you have to look up on the map where the Yellow Posts are located in Big Bear, and there's actually quite a few up here in Holcomb that you can come up here, and if you get the spot first, it's free camping, you don't get charged, but um, the thing with those Yellow Posts is I don't think you can light fires at them, so you might want to come with like an RV, or if you're just, you know, immune to the cold then maybe you'd be okay with no fire but um, the yellow posts are really beautiful and they've got beautiful sceneries and so if anybody's interested look those up they are they're online you can find them online this is another nice view out there oh it's so pretty you guys san gorgonio behind snow summit right there there is so much snow on San Gorgonio, you guys. Like, it, it is so white up there. Yeah, this is not looking good for us, you guys. Oh, one of the dogs busted some rear. Because it's, it's it was well then it was you then it was definitely not me maybe it was a deer no or a bear nope <laughs> no that was definitely dog I think dog or wife <laughs> no no it was definitely dog the wife doesn't bark guys. <laughs> <laughs> One time, I think it was the first year I lived here, you guys, I actually, when we got all the way up here and a few miles even further after we got to Holcomb Valley, I got stuck in some really deep snow trying to drive behind the mountain range all the way over to uh, to Green Valley Lake. And I had to hike my way out of here. It was, it was about five miles and it was freezing. I didn't get any cell phone reception. If I recall, the last time I was here was with my friend Curtis, maybe just over a year ago and I was I had good good cell phone coverage up here now which is great I, I can't remember for sure but that would always be a benefit because it can get pretty rough up here You guys are enjoying if you guys enjoy what i do please like and subscribe and share it really helps us out a lot and we uh we'd really appreciate it thank you thank you thank you and it's it's pretty funny up here there's one piece of paved road for about 50 yards maybe not even that long and I I can't remember what it's for but it's just the littlest paved portion and then it gets back to the dirt oh that's cool babe I think you told me that before with Mark
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, we are climbing in elevation, so inevitably, yeah. Let's see here. It hasn't really gotten that much lower. It's 44 right now, you guys. Oh, great. Do we have a shovel? Nope. Just in case? We do not. Do we have some emergency equipment just in case? Not in this Subaru. <laughs> okay, this isn't all. looking good, you guys. This is the way not to do things. Should we go? No, but should we go? It, oh, oh, it, it, uh -huh. it doesn't look safe. You know what? It'd be better if it was freezing outside, you guys. But we're gonna have to hit the gas a bit because we're gonna have to make it through here. rock right there. Go around that thing. So we don't get a flat. So going down won't be as much of a problem right there you guys but I was really worried we were gonna get stuck there. Oh. I'm so glad this vehicle is lifted. It really does a huge it makes a huge difference. But we're gonna have to really go here. I don't know, babe. You don't need babe. Yeah, we're going to bottom out here. I know. But... Oh my gosh. Jesus. This isn't good, babe. Not good at all. Oh, shit. What should we do? Are we gonna back up? We're gonna have to back up. Can you hold the, the camera forward? Oh my god, you guys. This is not good, babe. Look at how handsome my husband is. Just try and stay stay positive, please, honey, because I'm really nervous right now. I know. We'll be okay either way. I don't care if we bottom out and ruin this car. I really don't. Let's, let me give you guys a view of the backing up that we're doing here. Oh. Our friend got it for me. Oh my god, dude. This is, oh my, oh my god. Oh. Hang tight, please hang tight. Come on, car. Please, car. I have the wheel spun like all the way, and we're still going barely straight. I feel like I want to get like the view of you, but. I don't know how much of a view that is. Do what you can, babe. The concentration on his face. How this video is going to be called Holcomb Fail. <laughs> Get me, babe. I did. No, but like steady. Okay. And there this is goes. super steep, too, you guys. This is not going to be. And that one nasty part when we throw. Oh my gosh, I'm not looking forward to this. Wow, I'm somebody who knows how to back up without a backup camera. Somebody started driving 1995 when there were no backup cameras. 
Not a lot of people know how to do that anymore, guys. You know what? I wonder if I could spin out here. Oh, I feel like, yeah, you might have enough room, huh? But Maybe. I don't want to get stuck in that seat yeah, I'm, I'm, Yeah, I'm worried about it. How about, like, I don't know, try it. No. Thank you, baby. Thank you for your confidence in me. That I appreciate. Yeah, this is the Holcomb fail, guys, and I am literally chasing it. Backing out. Oh We're backing out of here, trying to. Anyway, here we are. I didn't say the sh word, you guys. I said shoot. The phone was oh. out there. Huh, babe? The phone was out there, so it didn't matter. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, babe! I think we made it to a safe spot to turn around. It's not the best view, guys. Let me. Sorry for the shaky. We're hitting hard bumps. <laughs> I really thought we were going to get stuck. <laughs> Guys, that's not cool. That is not cool. So that's just, I just want to show you guys how not to go to Holcomb right now. We almost made it. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I did not think it was going to be that gnarly. Did you, babe? Um, I mean, I've been up here when it's dry, so I had an idea, but nowhere near that. I thought, you know, we'd at least make it through a little bit and be able to see the valley, but. Here's an off-road 2N17, but we're taking 2N09 here. But wow, I mean, can you guys believe it? Think about like way back when they used to have like the, they were riding up here on the donkeys and bringing up those, um, you know, maybe the uh. Wagons? Guys, that's my wife. <laughs> what are they called? <laughs> wooden wagons. Those things with wooden wheels with the donkeys? <laughs> I love this lady. Oh my gosh. But look at that view straight ahead through those trees. That's one of the most beautiful mountains. And then hang on a second. The screen was touched. I got to stop it because we're not. Right, okay. Um, yeah. Touch the screen, guys. Wife touched the screen while she was holding the phone, and it made it blurry. Hopefully, you guys still got a good view of. What I'm sure they did. Now. I'm. Yeah. I'm sure they did. I'm guys. You have no idea how like happy I am to be the heck out of there. It was a bit stressful, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't get as stressed out now that i know how small big bear is because i feel like anywhere you break down you can walk even here i'll sit in the car and drink my sprite <laughs> she can walk then <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh yeah that was horrible you guys but thankfully i had my wife here because she kept me calm just if she would have started to freak out the way that i was freaking out i would have had a big problem I would have had to use the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know. My um, nerves have not been as sensitive lately. I've actually uh -oh. been pretty tough lately. You have been, which is really good. Usually I'm a chicken about everything. She is usually a chicken about everything. Actually, that's not true. That's not true at all. This woman's been through a lot. She's a fighter. But my gosh, you guys, look at these views. I know they're horrible through the trees, but try to see what I'm seeing. Can you see what I see? A star, a star. It's so nice. It, it does feel like Christmas. I'm excited. It's only nine months away. <laughs> <laughs> Less than nine months away. Wow. Eight months and three That's weeks, baby. Scary. But who's counting, right? All right, let me uh, clean the windshield off real quick. Do you know when Easter is? Uh, next, next Sunday, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was this Sunday. Yeah, this next Sunday. Oh. Yeah, I think. Is it? Uh -huh, I think so. Wow, guys. Usually in the past... Oh, look at a snow angel. Oh, nice. That was a real snow angel. 
Yeah, it really was. That was it was from a midget. <laughs> <laughs> from me. <laughs> yeah, Nick Dad that did that an hour ago. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, guys, that was really scary. But you guys know that, that years back I probably would have been dumb and tried tried going through, but nothing is worth it. It's it's really not to be in that precarious situation. Let me see how our phone service is right here anyway. I have LTE service. What's that mean? All right, hang on guys. All right. Wow, like that's such a huge relief, you guys. From almost being totally ooze grade to not is like the best feeling ever. Ever. We're about to come around this corner. Oops, hey now, you're an all-star. All right, look at that view. We're gonna zoom in on that because there's obviously no one behind us, obviously. So that far left-hand portion of that tall mountain, that's San Gorgonio. On, uh, it's, there's just so much snow up there. Imagine skiing down there, snowboarding down that thing, you guys. It is so high. That is something special right there. We're gonna have to. I hope, because I kept my camera focused right there, I hope that'll be one of the thumbnail options. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, and you guys didn't say hi to the dogs. Theo, Luna, say hi. Hey guys. Hey guys. guys, we failed Holcomb. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get to see the valley. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> they, they are so adorable, you guys. They're like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, don't don't make your way to Holcomb. <laughs> do not make your way. If I'm too haired to do it, then I guarantee you it's it's not going to be easy for you guys. Maybe if you have like one of those really huge Jeeps or something. But yeah, I a car that's made for insurance. Well, I mean, this, this yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't. I wouldn't take that risk, though. I'm sure they're not taking that risk. No, definitely not. <laughs> they're probably uh, planting some of the greens back there or something. Who knows? It's the perfect time to start planting. <laughs> you guys, this is crazy. Like, I really did not expect it to be that bad up there. I should have known while we were all the way down here when there are these nasty portions of the road right here. Yeah, we're gonna have a little no fun. Oh, <laughs> it just pushed us right back into the road. Yeah, maybe this, this wasn't the best idea. All right, here we go. My other car, we would have bottomed out so much harder, babe. Oh my gosh. Guys, up there, did you guys hear how bad I, I bottomed out twice, but I didn't care. I just needed to make like a tree and leave. Yeah, we hit our butt hard. Really hard. Twice. Twice. It was gnarly. Pretty intense, people. So unfortunately we failed, but we'll give it another shot in a couple weeks. It's gonna be a lot nicer, the temperatures up here. As a matter of fact, it's 44 degrees still right now. It's four o'clock. Oh, babe, you have no idea the relief of getting out of there. Of what? Of getting out of there. Oh. Especially driving backwards through all that. Oh my gosh. That was terrifying just on its, just on its own, you guys, knowing that I was gonna have to drive backwards for that long portion. Really cool watching you do it. Thanks, babe. I wanted to pee my pants. It was, <laughs> it was it was not cool. Instead, he pooed them and yes. tried to blame it on oh, the dogs. Oh, whoa! Right? You see that? <laughs> yeah. We almost just got thrown over the edge. Yeah, went off the side. It was what? Yeah, I know. We almost went off the side. Oh, Luna, stop it! What's up? She's she she's pushing that button, and I'm gonna push X mode. I, I I I'm gonna push her button if she pushes that button. <laughs> she wants us to drive in X mode. Yeah, she keeps on trying to push X mode. I think that's as bad as like putting the car in reverse while you're driving <laughs> forward. Just throwing it in reverse at full speed. 
there goes the tranny. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we made it. So I hope you guys insane. I agree. Hope you guys enjoyed the short video. It wasn't as cool as we wanted it to be, but hopefully she recorded me going backwards well. <laughs> I hope so. I'm not the best camera woman, but we I shall find I out. I mean, I did press the screen while I was doing it. I didn't know. Well, you didn't know. But um, yeah, we failed. But if you guys have places that you would like us to see us go, we would be happy. We're up for suggestions to go to those places. Suggestions are great. Yeah doesn't mean we're gonna go yeah <laughs> we would love your suggestions wow look at that view look at that make some videos of those places that you guys want to see at 100 percent that's so beautiful look at that lake So if it was like 15 degrees outside, guys, we would have made it through there no problem because it would have been hard, icy and hard. But because it was slushy, man, it was, I'm glad my wife had the sense to, to say no when I asked, what should we do? I am glad because I'd be in tears hiking out of here right now. All right, so we're almost to the end here. Once again, you guys, it's April 5th, 2023. Let's see what these signs say. Oh, I didn't see it said road closed, but. Oops. Oopsie boopsie. Oopsie boopsie. So there's a lesson, don't forget to read the signs. Yeah, I thought they would, they would have like it chained off or something, but they didn't, they didn't. Okay, so we're coming back up to Highway 38, AKA North Shore. What does this sign say right here? Oh. It says, turn back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't be an idiot, turn back. <laughs> this is a private little area. I think it's probably like a Boy Scout and, and Girl Scout area. Or maybe not, I don't know, but it looks really nice back here. A bunch of cute cabins. Yeah, totally, babe. That's awesome back there. I've never really given it a good look. All right, you guys, we're going to say our goodbyes right now, but we are going to get this video uploaded. Love you guys a lot. It is, as I said, March 5th, 2023. Here, baby. Say bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Give us suggestions on other places you might want to see us go or not go. I agree. I agree. <laughs> And once again, like and subscribe, guys. Please help us out. Sorry we couldn't make it today. We did our best. We really did. I put myself in a hairy situation. For that, hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. And we will see you soon. Peace out. We're going to do that wooden walkway in the next couple days that goes alongside uh, the opposite side of the lake right there. What is that? I don't know. It's a blackbird with white wings. Love you guys. Huge.